Cozy.tv is a conservative streaming platform, or at least I believe it's supposed to be a conservative streaming platform, judging by the people on it right now. Who do I think will be most upset by its existence? Honestly, I think it's going to be conservatives. I tuned into Jaden's stream, the only one live right now, and the first thing I see here is slurs. I mean, that's expected when I came in. And then he started talking about Turning Point USA, Republican Hype House, talking about how the people involved are basically faking it for clout, money, etc. And all of their content is, woe is me, I'm a conservative, but won't actually talk about their supposed conservative values. And that's why I think that this website is going to mostly upset conservatives. Sure, you're going to see some YouTube videos from more people to the left saying it's a terrible site, talk about racism and things like that that are on the platform, homophobia. But I think the real anger is going to be from conservatives. And we're going to start seeing that on places like Twitter and uh, probably Telegram. Because they're going to say that Cozy.tv makes conservatives look bad. I don't think Cozy.tv makes conservatives look bad. I think Cozy.tv, from what I've seen so far, shows what conservatives actually claim to be believing. And some of them don't believe it and don't want to be associated with this side of it. They just want to be labeled as a conservative for profit. And I feel a lot of them do believe it, but don't want to be labeled about what their beliefs actually are. It's going to be interesting to watch this unfold. I have to assume that if they put this up, they have everything figured out so it won't be taken down day one the moment H3H3 talks about it or something like that. I have to imagine they've thought farther than that. But, uh, yeah, I I think a lot of the things they say are absolutely terrible. I tuned into Jaden's. I tuned into Vince James. Clicked a random part in that one, and it was COVID misinformation. You know, it's what I expected. But uh, I really don't think after a week or two weeks after the hype or the news of it being out, you know, is out there, I don't think it's going to be more liberal people talking about this platform. I think it's going to be the conservatives that don't want to be tied to what actual conservatism is.